looking ahead, Bakersfield's ballerina Tyler Peck will be performing in the 98th annual Thanksgiving Day Parade next week. The Bakersfield native is an award-winning ballet dancer, now performing with the New York City Ballet. She has her own documentary on Hulu, and she has also appeared in numerous dancing films. Look for Tyler dancing with her fiance Roman during the parade right here on KGET beginning at 8.30 a.m. on Thanksgiving Day. In total, this year's parade features 17 giant character balloons, 22 floats, 15 novelty and heritage inflatables, 11 marching bands, 700 clowns, and 10 performance groups. And for many families like mine, Christmas is celebrated on stage with the magic and the music and the memories created while dancing in the Nutcracker. This year, there is a beautiful local performance coming to the stage at the Fox Theater, and you're invited. Joining us in studio, we have the artistic director and owner of Mallory Academy of Dance, Natalia Mallory. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for having me. I, of course, am very biased. I love this Nutcracker <laughs> because you gave me the great honor of being able to dance in it along with my daughters. You are doing such a beautiful job, by Thank the way. You, so you guys much. have to come see her. She's killing. It, I'm so. having such a blast, but I love your vision for this Nutcracker. It is so beautiful, it's so fresh and new. Tell us all about it for people who haven't seen it yet. Well, this is our third annual uh, performance of this community performance of Natalia Mallory's The Nutcracker, and um, it is so special. We have such a diverse group of people. There's over 20 cultures in our uh, performance, and on top of that, there are non-dancers, uh, people who are training for um, pre-professional experience, and then we have professional dancers that come in, and then we have dads that are in it and so there's a wide range of people and it's a beautiful way um, just to really see the community come together and do something so beautiful. It's so beautiful, it's all local, it's um, some of the traditional choreography, your very inspirational new choreography, new costume, oh there I am, oh funny. <laughs> Um, but we have some new costumes coming this year, some new props, and what else is new that you can tell people about? So we actually changed some stuff around with some of the choreography. I added in, um, I've always loved the version from the the actual classic book from the Nutcracker, um, how the Mouse King has seven heads. So mm -hmm. I actually added some of the little kids in with more heads in it and um, uh, just restaged some choreography, uh, but not too much different. Yeah. But that's about those, all that's different in it this year. I love it because you want to go and see the classic performance, right? Mm -hmm. But then changing it up a little bit year by year just makes it so exciting for kids of all ages. And then, I mean, that's the whole point of it, especially when you have a community nutcracker that has so many different levels, so many different ages. You want to do what fits the people, and then it will amplify the, the vision even more. So, um, yeah, it changes little by little each year depending on who we have because I want to make everybody look their absolute best. And speaking about who you have, let's talk about some of your young dancers. Oh. I am blown away. Jaya and Jalea Amos, uh, mm. Tristan McGlasson. There are so many. I can't even name all of them. How does it feel for you as their leader to see these teenagers dancing like professionals? I honestly, I could get brought to tears. You guys know I'm quick to cry. Any of my kids know, like <laughs> I'm like quick to cry because I've taught a lot of them since they were like seven years old, eight years old. Um, and to see the way that they're able to pour back into the community and also just work on their craft, have discipline, balance their schedules with school, different activities, and then do this community performance and do community outreach uh, opportunities that they have. Um, it's really beautiful to see them grow into wonderful people, not just dancers. So it's, it's a pleasure for me to see them grow. And, and they're great young kids to see in this community performance. They are indeed. You're going to make me cry too. So you yeah. saw the poster there. The tickets are available. We're performing at the Fox this year, Friday the 13th and Sunday the 15th. The World Ballet will be at the Fox on Saturday. So I know that's a little confusing. Where are we going to be on Saturday? On Saturday, we are doing a community benefit performance um, that is sponsored by the Mallory Foundation. Um, and it is an outreach uh, performance where we are reaching out to underprivileged and underrepresented communities and allowing them to see a portion of the Nutcracker. Um, and yeah, so it's going to be at BHS um, at the Harvey Auditorium. And um, yeah, we're going to be able to further our reach and get deeper into our community and expose them to art, which is the whole purpose of everything. So. It is indeed, because so many of these children wouldn't have an opportunity otherwise to see yeah. a semi-professional ballet. So again, that's happening Saturday, that closed performance. Please join us at the Fox Friday the 13th and Sunday the 15th. Thank you for this opportunity. Of course. <laughs> Thank you so much. I, I love the opportunity to share dance with everyone. That's the whole purpose of it. It goes so be, so far beyond the classroom and the stage. Yes. It starts with the people. So I'm glad that I'm able to do this and share it with our community. And thank you so much for being a part of it. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> we love this. We'll be right back.